راغبا في كل علم نافع ينمو العلم ويتقدم بتقنياته ومجالاته ومعه نطور أدواتنا في تقديم العلم الشرعي أكاديمية زاد زاد أكاديمية ينبوعها صاف صاف ليروي غلة الظمآن هذا كتاب الله روح قلوبنا خير الدروس تعلم القرآن بشرى لنا زاد أكاديمية للعلم كالأزهار في البستان الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين All praise is due to Allah and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his prophet Muhammad, his family, his companions and all of his followers until the day of resurrection. I welcome you to this new lesson from the series of Tafsir of Level 1 at Zad Academy. And we are continuing with Tafsir of Surat Al-Fatiha, the Tafsir of the chapter of the opening of the book, Surah Al-Fatiha, the greatest surah in the glorious Quran because of its position, meaning, and uh, the uh, containment of all the essential uh, uh, matters uh, and, and topics in the glorious Quran. We reached into the uh, uh, last ayah which is إهدنا الصراط المستقيم last two ayahs إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين now إهدنا الصراط المستقيم we after the first ayahs الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين we praised Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We, uh, we definitely uh, committed ourselves to worshipping him and to seeking his help. Now it's appropriate after that to go ahead and, and uh, uh, make dua, seek uh, uh, Allah's uh, uh, mercy and kindness. Uh, what is it? And it is... Uh, the uh, guidance. After this, you, you need the guidance. Ihdina sirat al mustaqim. And uh, remember the hadith of the virtue of uh, Surah Al Fatiha. Qasamtu salata baini wa baina abdi nisfain. I divided uh, salah, which is Al Fatiha, between me and my servant. This is in Hadith Qudsi, uh, into two halves. So whenever you say uh, an ayah, Allah responds to you. And the second ayah, Allah responds to you. So this is the continuation. And he said, uh, when, he, when, when he said, na'budu wa nasta'in, Allah says, this is for uh, my servant and for my servant what he asks for. And when he, when, when a person says, إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين Allah said, this is for my servant. So meaning he has answered you and he responds to you with uh, acceptance. You know, that's why it's important to get these meanings when, when reading Al-Fatiha. Ihdina al-Sirat al-Mustaqeem. You ask, you did not say Ihdini, but Allah says Ihdina. So you are doing it collectively. Remember all the major ibadat in Islam are done collectively, like Salah and uh, Siyam and Hajj and even Zakah, you, you, you share with, uh, with the poor and the needy uh, the wealth uh, by giving uh, this to, uh, to them, to those who deserve receiving the, the Zakah. So this is collective. And you said, Ihdina. So you ask Allah for guidance for you and for your brother uh, uh, Muslims إِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ This hidayah uh, is of two types. We, we have 
hidayah for guidance to, to, to the straight path, meaning to choose to go in this path. And secondly, is to put that guidance into practice. So it's two guidance, hidayah to at-tawfiq wa hidayah to al-amal. So the hidayah of uh, getting into the right way and then the hidayah or guidance to do uh, the deeds and to put this hidayah into, into action. That's why we didn't say ihdina ila sirat al-mustaqim. Allah says ihdina sirat. So in order to have the two kinds of, of hidayah all together. And what is as-sirat al-mustaqim? Well, as-sirat al-mustaqim, as Imam Ibn Jarir rahimahullah said, uh, the uh, Mufassirin, the Ummah of Mufassirin, all agreed uh, together, they have a consensus that as-sirat al-mustaqim is the straight path which has no crookedness. It's very straight, very, uh, uh, you know, direct uh, into, into, into reaching uh, to the end with the shortest uh, uh, distance. And um, um, of course, when it comes to the meaning of as-sirat al-mustaqim, well, the, the meaning would, uh, you know, according to some mufassirin, it could be the book of Allah, al-Islam, the Quran, uh, the Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, the truth. All of this uh, was interpreted to be as-sirat al-mustaqim. But all boils down to one thing, which is to follow the commandments of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to follow Allah and to obey Allah and to obey his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you do that, then obviously you, if you follow uh, the Prophet alayhi wa sallam and uh, uh, took his, his footsteps, uh, obviously you have followed the truth and if you have followed the truth, you have followed Islam. So they're all together, they're connected. All these meanings are connected together. Now, there is more explanation of that as-sirat al-mustaqim. Sirat al-ladheena an'amta alayhim. What is this kind of sirat or uh, path? Well, Allah says uh, in the glorious Quran, وَمَن يُطِعِ اللَّهَ وَالرَّسُولِ فَأُولَٰئِكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ مِنَ النَّبِيِّينَ وَالصِّدِّقِينَ وَالشُّهَدَاءِ وَالصَّالِحِينَ وَحَسُنَ أُولَٰئِكَ رَفِيقًا So whoever f- uh, obeys Allah and His Messenger, verily He will be among, uh, He will be with those that Allah has bestowed His favor upon, who are the prophets, الصديقين, those who follow them with truthfulness and who trusted them, and الشهداء, the martyrs, and الصالحين, the righteous, and what a best uh, uh, companionship uh, that is. وَحَسُنَ أُولَٰئِكَ رَفِيقًا who's, be- who's better than, than these companions in this path? So these are the ones, uh, the path of the prophets and the Siddiqeen and the uh, uh, shuhada and salihin. MashaAllah. You know, uh, that, is, that is how the uh, uh, Qur'an explains uh, in one ayah what came into a different ayah. This is from Tafsir al-Qur'ani, Bil Qur'an. Ibn Jarir al-Tabari, who is the Shaykh of Mufassirin, rahimahullah, says regarding this ayah, اِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطَ mustaqim Guide us to be persistent on what you uh, accepted for us and uh, uh, you guided us uh, 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 from among those whom you have bestowed your favor upon from your own servants uh, in, in, in sayings and in deeds. So meaning keep us on that, اِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطَ mustaqim guide us to that uh, path and keep us persistent and, and holding on to it. Now this is in opposite to two groups. غير المغضوب عليهم These are the people whom Allah has put His wrath on. And it was explained that these were the Jews. Um, 
And everyone who has known the truth but did not, did not act upon it. So anyone, even from this ummah, who has known the truth but did not act upon it is like the Jews and he, has, he, is, uh, he deserves the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلَضَّالِينَ And not even the misguided. Now the misguided are the Christians before the uh, mission of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and everyone who uh, has uh, gone into, into action who has uh, uh, worshipped, and, and, but he, he did it with ignorance, without evidence, without a true guidance uh, to the true uh, deeds. That is, uh, so if, if, if anyone from, even from uh, our own uh, uh, Muslims who uh, does anything that is not based on the Quran and the Sunnah, uh, or with ignorance, without uh, prior correct and sound knowledge, then there, there is, he's, he's, he's just like being misguided and he's just like the Christians. So you don't want to be like uh, the Jews and the Christians who either knew the truth but did not act on it or who wanted to seek the truth but could not find it and they worshipped in ignorance. All are bad. Although these two groups have the same, same uh, characteristics, which is, uh, but of course, the uh, uh, most uh, uh, big or uh, right uh, description of the Jews is is that Allah has put His wrath upon them because in another ayah Allah says, "Malla'anahu Allahu wa ghadiba alayhi," whom Allah has has cursed and has put His wrath upon, and the most closest description to the Jews are those who uh, were misguided. Another ayah, Allah says subhanahu wa ta'ala, قَدْ ضَلُّوا مِنْ قَبْلُ وَأَضَلُّوا كَثِيرًا وَضَلُّوا عَنْ سَوَاءِ السَّبِيلِ So they were misguided before and they misguided others. So they were themselves misguided and they misguided others and even they misguided the straight path and the correct way. So this is, this is how uh, this, uh, uh, these two ayahs explain to us the right path and how you can follow the path of the, the, the uh, anbiya min al nabiyyina wa siddiqina wa shuhadai wa salihin wa hasuna ulaika rafiqa. Please review this ayah in Surah An Nisa, ayah number uh, 19. You'll find more explanation uh, regarding the. Uh, uh, these uh, these two ayahs very very important to, to to know the right path and not to follow uh, the path of of this group or the path of that group uh, and be only following the right path uh, that Allah has chosen for you which is the path of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam and of course uh, taking the same principles as the earlier prophets alayhim jami'an salawatullahi wa salamu until I see you, inshallah, in the coming episode, I leave you with Allah's care and protection. Wallahu ta'ala a'lam wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ya raghiban fi kulli ilmin nafi'in. Yenmu al-alm wa yataqaddam. Bitaqaniyyatihi wa majalatihi. ومعه مطور أدواتنا في تقديم العلم الشرعي أكاديمية زاد زاد أكاديمية ينبوعها صاف صاف ليروي غلة الظمآن هذا كتاب الله روح قلوبنا خير الدروس تعلم القرآن بشرى ننازات أكاديمية للعلم كالأزهار في البستان